This is Maggie and Ali. Hi. Hi. Um, Maggie from Red Hood Art and Ali from Kids Chaos. We're here today for another crafty hangout. Today we're going to be discussing. You know where I put them. Um, cereal boxes. Here's one. Here's one I didn't make earlier. So some cereal boxes. Nice British cereal box, but you can use any from any part of the world. Um, so it's something that most people do have in their house. It's a handy box. What do you make from it? Um, today I'm not going to do a demo just because they're a bit bulky and awkward. So I'm just going to show you the crafts I did and then we're going to run through. We're going to go to Adele and, and talk to the rest. Um, first one up. Um, a bit battered because we've had this for probably two years. Is our little um, shadow puppet? Oh, I have an assistant. Oh, um, our shadow puppet. Um, it's not so good to see on. Uh, you can see it a little bit, but it, it does work very well. Um, you know, with the kids when you haven't got lots of lights on in the room to try and make it work better. So you've got a shadow puppet. Um, lots of shapes. The bits you cut out, you use to then create your shapes. And um, it does work, you just can't see it very well on screen. So here's our little fish. And we've had, we did this a couple of years ago, and like many of our crafts, we still have it all this time later. So we do like making the um, shadow puppet. I'll, I'll share a link to that later. And then the other one, my new favorite cereal box craft, is this. This is our art display box. So you can buy these for about 20, 30 pounds on Amazon, or you make one out of a cereal box. So. You put all your art in, and then you basically can just rotate your art as and when. So this is Spider-Man going up the, the big building, and it's just a handy box to keep your, your, your um, artwork in and display it at the same time. And then uh, the way we've made it is so that you, you know, it's really sort of uh, frame size and super easy to make, and I'll put this on the blog in the coming days. I love this one. We're going to move on to Adele, and then Ali will close it off at the end. So Adele, over to you. Hi, I'm Adele from Playful Learners. We made, um, I sort of cut out the middle of the box, and then my children um, had the opportunity to sort of turn it into any scene they wanted. My idea was to turn it into an aquarium, but my daughter had a different idea, and she wanted to do a golden eagle that was flying about. And you can sort of see underneath the trees that she made from the branches outside. And that's it from us. That's what we did this week. I'll pass you over. <laughs> right. Uh, uh. Okay, fine. Right, me. Okay. Right, sorry. Oh. Playing back with the mute button. Uh, hi, I'm Ali from Plastic Quote 4. Um, we've actually made a weaving loom from a piece of card. Um, Kieran's been sat here playing with um, it. Um, it took us about 10 minutes to make. Um, and we've been doing it, taking it in turns all afternoon to make this bit of fabric. Um, yeah, that's it. Very nice. Over to you, Liz. Thank you. Um, I'm Liz from Me and My Shadow. Um, my blog name seems to have disappeared, so um, I'm at Me and My Shadow. Um, I have a daughter who's five years old, and like many five year old little girls, she loves to hide things, little have little secret hidey places. Um, so we're forever turning up little dashes of random toys and little notes and pictures and things. So I've made her a little secret hiding thing, which is over here, cunningly disguised. So this is our secret book hideaway, and it's actually just a cereal box inside. So I've made this with, um, this is actually a proper book, which I know is pretty horrendous to cut one up. But we've got um, a second-hand bookstore near us, and they sell really, really bad condition books. Um, literally um, to a new home for pennies. So um, you can either do that or you can just download and print off um, an image of a spine and stick that on the side of the box. Um, but this has got board covers as well. So it does look like a book, um, sits in the bookshelf, and you'd never know that it was a secret hiding place. Love it, really nice. <laughs> Lovely. And now back to Ali. Okay, hi. <laughs> so mine isn't quite as creative as that, but basically, can you see this? This is the pulped um, cereal boxes, and we put them in these to dry, and you can see their little seed seed pots 
Um, we just put a little hole in the bottom. You just basically pulp them. It's really fun. We did um, two. We did deep pans, pots even, and some shallows. <laughs> These uh, I would say definitely use the silicon um, trays because they're really easy to pop out. I have got some that we'd put in metal trays and they glue in. So <laughs> it's not good, but the silicon's great. So we'll be, um, Maggie and I will be potting up my seedlings. We will, yes, I've seen me. them. And actually, I reckon these would be quite good for a little school fair or something, yeah. um, you know, to sell. Well, you can paint them because ultimately it's paper mache, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. excellent. Lovely. It's right, fun. so that was um, a nice quick cereal box for craft roundup for you this week. Sometimes um, we can go on a bit, but hopefully, um, they will leave you inspired. So we have um, some shadow puppets. Some I like the Heidi hole. The weaving is really good. Something that I definitely want to go, Ali. And I love how um, Adele's, you know, lets the children lead as to where the craft goes. So anyway, so I hope the cereal boxes have inspired you. Um, come back again next week. We're going to look at Father's Day. I know it's ages away, but it just it's the sort of thing, you know, fathers have their birthdays, their, and you have anniversaries or whatever. There's always an opportunity to, to make for him, and it can be really tricky. So what, what gifts can give kids make for their dads? And we'll look at that next week. But anyway, nice to see you all, and see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.